spooky surprise for brave young warriors. <laughs> From a monster bash. Up and down as fast as you can. The homemade ooey gooey slime. Oh. It smells like apple cinnamon. Families and Rady Children's patients are not letting an illness spook their Halloween. As soon as we see the whole thing they're doing here, it's great. So the kids were really happy about it and we're just grateful. Trick or treating is a break from being brave and just being able to be a kid. We know this is a challenging time, especially for families who have a child at the hospital. For a sibling of a, of a patient. There was Halo, Spider-Man, Cinderella. Hey, ballerina. All of the costumes and treats were donated by the community to make sure that children like almost nine-year-old Paisley Mundo gets to celebrate Halloween. I like that we get to dress up. Paisley, who's battling brain cancer, has been staying at the Ronald McDonald house with her mom since May. This Halloween marks her first away from her sister, whose family's from Saipan. Holidays are really hard for us especially because Paisley's not used to being away from family. Ten-year-old Eloise is from a city near Mexico City. She just had a cornea transplant yesterday at Rady Children's Hospital, and today she's a princess ready to conquer the world. She said she loves the costumes, but she's missing her two little brothers. The Ronald McDonald House is about creating a home away from home, a place where kids can be kids without missing out on family traditions. We want to make it where this is just a fun experience. They talk about years from now and say, hey, remember when we were at the Ronald McDonald House? Did you know that Moana's coming too? Thanks to the generosity of the community, these kids had a Halloween they'll never forget, a spooky surprise that brought smiles to their faces and hope to their hearts. No, I am very thankful for Ronald McDonald House. 